guys, what's up? Welcome in Java Tricky Programming Interview Question and Answer. Uh, guys, in this video tutorial, we'll discuss about the one of the uh, tricky uh, Java interview question. And question is that, uh, what do the expression 1.0 divided by 0, 0.0 or any number divided by 0, 0.0 will return? Will it throw exception or any compile time error? Well, so let's go to the Eclipse and try to explore what would be the answer of this question. So here, uh, basically, one thing I would like to tell you guys, uh, uh, this is the one of the tricky uh, question from java.lang.double class, etc. Rapper class. Java developer knows about the double primitive types and uh, uh, double wrapper class while doing floating point arithmetic. They don't pay enough attention to uh, double infinity, right? And other rules that uh, uh, govern gov uh, govern the arithmetic calculation involving them, right? So here you can see if you divide uh, 1.0 or any number by 0, 0.0, this is going to return you positive infinity. And uh, this exp same expression with negative sign, this is going to return you negative infinity or if you have a number numerator and denominator both 0, 0.0 means this is going to return nan nan means not a number right so here i have written three programs and i am trying to show you uh, how basically this calculation works so here uh, i have 100 divided by 0, 0.0 so this is going to return you what Do, can you guess it now yeah the simple answer to this question is that it will not throw arithmetic exception and will return infinity and here 0, 0.0 divided by 0, 0, 0.0 this will return nan not a number so let me show you yeah so here you can say infinity nan if you specify negative sign then this is going to return in negative infinity let me show you negative infinity and if you divide any integer by uh, 0 then of course this is gonna throw you arithmetic exception that that is everybody uh, knows it right so now question is that uh, uh, now let's go to the uh, uh, next question let's say you have a double array which contains uh, a lot of elements a double uh, or integer right now what you are doing just we are iterating this double array uh, getting every elements from this array and dividing 120 uh, 125.0 right by this uh, every elements from this array then here you have one of the elements 0, 0.0 when this elements comes and try to divide 0, 0.0 right 125.0 by 0, 0.0 this is going to return you infinity right so infinity again infinity uh, multiplied by 100 again that will be infinity itself let me show you right so here for first elements when you try to divide this is this is the output we are getting for second elements if you try to divide then we get this answer and when you try to divide by third elements right then we are getting infinity right so let's say if you do this kind of calculation and whatever output you are getting over here you are passing to the next method for business processing right so for this input right your business process may get failed then how do we tackle this kind of scenario in an application so well so we have another program and there i have shown you uh, how we can tackle this kind of scenario so here i have a same program only changes is this e block so thanks to uh, java.lang.double wrapper class that provides you one method is called is infinite so he is fi infinite that checks uh, for positive as well as negative integer right whatever number uh, you are basically uh, sending that checks if that are positive integer or negative integer, this will return will true right so here just i have negated these things i uh, just what i am telling whenever d comes with pos either positive integer or negative integer then don't go in this if block right so we want to do this calculation for the only finite number not for infinite number so d comes with the finite number then we go ahead and we do the, this calculation and just here i'm just printing this value but in real scenario you may pass this as an input to the another method and there you can do kind of business calculation business uh, process so if i run this application then you'll see uh, you have a output all the output except uh, uh, wherever you get the infinity right positive or negative infinity so guys that's all i have in this video tutorial i hope you enjoy learning this video and uh, i am expecting when 
uh, when in future if you encounter this question in your interview right or if you uh, uh, do programming your application or your uh, existing if you're working on some existing application then you uh, you'll be able to find the bug or if uh, you are working uh, on any project from the scratch then you take care about these things so guys that's all i have in this video tutorial if you want to learn java in much more detail then you can refer our website kkjavatutorials.com and see you there in the next video tutorial thank you